Scholarly journals feature different kinds of articles, including new research, opinion pieces, book reviews, case studies, and methodologies. This video explores the different parts of a research article, which reports on data from new original research. By doing a keyword search for heart disease and anxiety, we're looking for articles that explore the relationship between these two concepts. Limiting our results to full text and scholarly journals will produce the type of research article we need. We'll take a closer look at the third result, depression and anxiety in patients with heart disease and or cancer. Make sure you click on the PDF full text link to get the complete article. The first page of the article gives you most of the information you need to write your citation, including the title, authors, and information about the journal that published it. In this example, the journal information is at the top of the first page. Underneath the title and author information, you'll find a short summary of the article. This is called an abstract. When you're looking for articles for an assignment, you can read the abstract to determine if an article matches your topic. After the abstract, the authors give a brief introduction to their paper and discuss the state of knowledge on their chosen topic prior to their research. This section, known as the Literature Review, surveys previous research findings and scholarly writing to date. What is the context for this specific article's research? The Literature Review answers that question. Next comes the Methodology section. Here the authors explain in detail how they conducted their research. This section is particularly important in case other researchers want to try to duplicate this study or apply this methodology to a different data set. Understanding the methodology is crucial for evaluating research conclusions. After explaining their methodology, the authors now share their results. This section describes their data, including results that were unexpected or unclear and those that were conclusive. This section is often called results or findings. Now we come to the section where the authors discuss the conclusions of the study. They will reflect on the meaning of their results, comment on any shortcomings of their study, suggest areas for further research, and explore the broader implications of their findings. This section is followed by the references or bibliography, an alphabetized list of the sources of information cited in the paper. If you have any questions, please call the library at 413-755-4549 or email us at stcclibrary at stcc.edu.